actually have a son. Actually, for all these years that I've known you, you've always wanted children. Underneath your suave, jet-setting exterior, you've been a family man all along. I'm sure Brenda would be really happy for you. Yeah. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> so how's little John doing? Oh, he's doing better. Yeah, he's getting stronger. He grabs my finger. Yeah. So great. He looks at me. <laughs> well, you guys are bonding. I'm sure all that's helping him get through this. Mom, you know, I can't take all the credit. And Carly's been really great, too. Carly? I don't know why you would let her anywhere near your child. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Like fine for a middle-aged, exhausted, recovering alcoholic with a failing liver fine? By the looks of things, you're getting worse. Look, I understand that that you're not terribly fond of Carly. Oh, can you blame me? No, I, I, I get it. You know, I mean, she's wreaked havoc on your life. Mine and a lot of other people's. Why add your name to the list? I, I know. Look, I've never liked Carly much either, okay? I've certainly had my, you know, experiences with her in business. They weren't very good. Mm. But she's been really great with John. I mean, she's been there the whole time. She's she sat by his side, except for the, the short time when she went to find the antidote. Which she did with Jason. If she failed to mention that, it's because she wants to use your gratitude. To what length? I, I don't understand. I don't know. I have no idea. I just know from painful experience that Carly never does anything out of the goodness of her heart. Just, I just don't know how she could be, you know, working an angle by helping little John. I just... I, well, Carly and, and Courtney were best friends, okay? I really think that, that Carly is genuinely committed to little John's life. Come on, Jax. You can't be that naive. There has got to be some angle here, and if you're not careful, you're going to live to regret it. Look, I admit that Carly can be incredibly self-serving, but she promised Courtney that she would take care of her son, and she's done that. You know, she's made a real commitment to my son. Carly abandoned her own son before he was even a week old. I don't know, maybe she was trying to make amends. Then let her make amends with her own children. Michael and Morgan have been shuffled around for years. Even now, she hardly spends any time with them. Carly is number one in her life and always will be. Well, except for maybe Jason, if he can do something for her. Which brings us to the real heart of the matter, doesn't it? Carly's latched onto Jason, and she's not going to let go, and it makes you furious, doesn't it? Well, I'm not jealous of oh, I didn't their say, I didn't say jealous. I said furious. It makes you... It's a little bit furious, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, I, I admit to that. There is no one that gets under my skin like that woman. Oh, trust me, I've noticed. Carly used Michael to manipulate everyone around her, and I'm just... Worry that she's going to do the same thing with your son. I disagree. I think people have complex motives. Now, and I think that, that people are all good and all bad. And believe me, I know that Carly can be every bit as devious as you say. But she can also be strong and supportive. And I really need that right now. What happened to taking it easy? You trying to kill yourself? Good morning to you too, Dr. Drake. You're not supposed to be working. <laughs> Back to giving me a hard time already, huh? Look, if you relapse, it's gonna make me look bad. I don't buy that. What's wrong? What did your father do this time? I caught him grabbing his side in obvious pain. He was in bad shape before the epidemic and the way he drove through it, he can't... Well, Noah was trying to save lives. Yeah, but what about his life? I know. 
Have you tried talking to him about the well, transplant? Him? Well, Noah's trying to protect you. I need your help. Wow. You really are desperate. I want you to try and get through to my dad. All right, let me get this straight. You're asking me to meddle in your father's life. Yes, and the sooner the better. I tried to convince him from the beginning. I'm not sure Noah will listen to me. It's my decision. I already made it. You're choosing to die. Do you understand how selfish that is? According to you, I've done more than my fair share of damage anyway. No translation, you'd rather continue to feel sorry for yourself. Look, I spent too many years in self-pity. I was hoping to move the other direction. Why, by not resting during the epidemic, pushing yourself to the point of collapse? That, like you, I was trying to save lives. What about all the lives you still need to save? Starting with your own. You guys, this isn't helping. Not long ago, you were okay with me just to crawl off and drink myself to death. I can still do that. Now don't let me stand in your way. You know, back up, Patrick. You and I, we're gonna lose whatever time we have left. 